Welcome back everybody, it's OG here. I can build a one part vessel. One part. OG, don't be ridiculous. You can't build a one part vessel. Want to bet? But OG, what can you do with that? Wouldn't you like to know? Well, look at me go. Yes, I did discover this quite accidentally. It was yesterday. I had a little crash. And the front fell off. And then I discovered that these things work very well. The best part is they don't seem to use any electricity. So this is an, an infinitely travelable vehicle. Wow, that is such a bad way of stating things. It's not very easy to direct. You can change the rotation direction. You can get it to do a few tricks. I have managed to get one to spin on the point. Um, I wasn't recording that with voice yesterday, but I, th I think I got some footage. I'll insert that. So you can see, you can use just a cockpit as a vessel or vehicle or whatever you want to call this. I do like the little Kerbal face animations. They get quite animated for want of a better word. It can jump pretty high and it can move along at speeds of up to about 30 meters per second. I tried this with pretty much all of the different cockpits and there are only two which work correctly. This one and this one. Anything else either doesn't get much speed or more commonly just explodes as soon as it gets a little bit of a, a impact with the ground. And I really don't mean much of an impact. Yes, it's funny. Yes, it's silly. But it's just nice to know that there is a way to make things go using nothing. <laughs> I suppose there is crack and drive potential here somewhere. Um, don't know if I'm going to bother to figure that out. Oh, damn it. Now I have to go build something. One moment, please. <laughs> it's gonna break apart. <laughs> you can either use just the roll control or the roll and yaw together and depending on the effect you want, um, one might work better than the other under the circumstances. Anyway, so there's that. But that in itself does not a video make. I have seen some air show stuff on the launcher about people doing air shows. I've seen one or two air show videos. So let me do a little air show maneuver to myself. You may remember my ultra maneuverable plane, Manny, from the video I did about him not too long ago. Well, I've improved it slightly. This is the more powerful Manny 2.
and I've seen everybody showing off with their aerobatic skills and to them I say well that's just fascinating but can you do this? Yeah. Didn't think so. Okay, I'm supposed to survive that, but obviously I was a little bit low. Worry not. For I shall return. I've seen people doing the falling leaf maneuver. Let me show you my version of it. You think a falling leaf is impressive. Ha! Amateurs, meet the shuriken. Yeah. Yes, I could have landed that and I could have recovered, but I was going for effect. And it's the effect that counts. You remembered for what you did before you died at the air show, not the death itself. Oh gee, that's a bit macabre. Sorry, sorry. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Some messing around in KSP2. Which is exactly what one should do. Nice having you all here again. See you soon. OG out.